We are talking uh, February, winter fishing. Good fish here. There he is. Thanks for watching Three Pound Fishing, partnered up with these fantastic companies. All right, how we doing folks? We are talking uh, February, winter fishing. We've got a warm up, and I guess what's coming is a huge polar vortex. And so we're gonna get out there and put some slabs on the, in the boat. That is the plan today. But before we start, I've had a lot of requests on talking about the Garmin units. Um, I've had them all. So here I'm gonna show you my 8612. That's my 8612. Let me give you a rundown on the units, what I know. It's not everything, but I can tell you I've been through so many of them that I feel like at some level, I am an expert since I've had so many on my boat. It's been part of the process of learning. So let's start off with probably the most popular Gar Garmin Live Scope monitor. That would be the 1022 or the 1222 GPS maps. Now the advantage, and I'll show an image here of what I had before of those two units. Now let's go back just a little bit. I believe in purchasing the biggest monitor you can purchase. I am a firm believer that although nine inch monitors will work, most of the nine inch monitor owners wish they had a 10 inch or a 12 inch. So save yourself some time, some energy, and certainly some wasted money when you have to resell the nine inch, get yourself a 10 inch or a 12 inch. The 22 series in the GPS maps, the 1022 or the 1222 are fantastic units. You need to check those out. Uh, they have a rotial dial. They're not touchscreen. They allow you to do active captain. I think they're your best bang for your buck to getting introduced into the live scope world. From there, you're going to upgrade to the 126 SV. It's a touchscreen. It's beautiful. It's a better processor. It's got more pixels. The image is way better than the ones I had just mentioned. So I recommend the 126 SV. Even though I have the 8612 up on the front of my boat right now, I think the 126 SV is fantastic. Now something that's unique about the 126 SV is that it's a cradle system. So some people might not be comfortable with a cradle. What do I mean by cradle? Let me, let me show you here. On a 126 SV, the monitor snaps into a cradle that is on your boat. Okay, now that's nice because you can take it on and off, but some people have a concern that it's not gonna be tight enough and you might lose uh, connectivity to your boat. I think that's warranted. It's one of the reasons why I got rid of it. But I have to tell you, I thought the picture was fantastic and uh, it's a little bulkier, but I really did like the 126 SV. Now, I've gone to the 8612. That is the Primo system. That's it right here. I lost this upper trim piece, which I have ordered. They're on back order right now. It's easy to do because when you scrape your trolling motor cable across here, it'll take it off. And unfortunately, I lost it in the water. So the 8612 has an even better processor. I, but to be honest with you, I just don't know if the picture is that much better to warrant uh, upgrading to the 8612. As much as I love having it, and I think it's fantastic, I don't know if it's worth the upgrade from a 126 SV. So it's also not in a cradle system, so whenever I wanna take this item or remove it from the boat, I do have to unplug it from the back, which takes a little bit more time. But with that said, it has the best processor, has the most pixels, it is the top of the line for Garmin. So that's a rundown on the monitors. Let's get out there and let's fish. I'm gonna show you live scope the entire day today. It's gonna, I'm gonna be talking behind the camera for the most part, and you're gonna see all of the catches that we do during this episode. So, and I might share some tidbits on what I'm doing. So uh, this is all about catching winter crappie, schooled crappie. Some of them are gonna be on structure, uh, but enjoy it. Sit back, relax, get something to drink. Do me a favor, subscribe. That means a lot to me. We've got the three pound fishing elite series in the boat. Let's get it on. Some good fish here. We're on this ledge. The wind is blowing into this ledge. And by the way, folks, we got 42 degree water temperatures right now. And I am assuming that is gonna drop drastically. But there I am right on top. Let's see if we get a taker. Ooh, we did get a bite. That was our first bite of the day right there. There, nice little fish right there. Really deep. 14 foot. There I am coming down right there, folks. Got somebody coming from the ground. I see him. He's cruising. We're going to scroll this in real quick. I don't scroll it in all the time. You know, to 30, but that's about as 
All right, there I am dropping in right here, folks. That's a really good drop. And we got fish joining. So I am dragging it. I know I'm right in this neighborhood. Should be right in this area right here. I don't have to see my bait all the time as long as I have a good general idea where it's at. I think you have to learn to be able to fish without seeing it and have confidence that you're in the zone, you're, you're where it's at. There I am right there. These guys want to check it out. There's one. There he is coming up. That's our first fish of the day, right there. That's a good fish. Yeah, that's a good fish. That is a great start. So there's our first fish of the day. That's a dandy right there. That's a dandy. Good looking fish. We're gonna keep him for a picture maybe later, but he's gonna be going, going back. I don't keep him anymore, folks. I just don't. Boom, good fish. Okay, there's our fish right there. They're a little reluctant, no doubt about it. But we are, it's not exactly, I did another episode in a day like today. It's, you know, bluebird. We do have some wind, which is nice. But we are in the middle of the day. So we're hoping that uh, the bite just continues to get better. But right now it's slow presentation. Just slow, 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 slow. And, uh, this 8612 from Garmin is uh, getting the job done. There's your picture, you know. And I'm not using active captain, obviously. I'm just putting it right in front of the monitor. Here's this guy. You see him streak up there? Could you see that? I'm always watching for fish that are making quick movements, man. There's one. Coming at you. So these fish are right underneath the boat and uh that's a good fish letting them go again double jig hair jigs that i've made <laughs> and uh i am thinking about putting them on my website just for giggles here i am dropping it again i'm not a big fan of casting hair jigs but why not we're gonna cast them right into the sun Double jig setup going right through it all. I'm thinking about putting, give me your thoughts on that folks. I really would appreciate it. I was gonna just put what I have on there and it's not gonna be a custom order thing, but if you like what you see, you can order it and then it might be a one time be gone, you know? It's just a, uh, all like three pound originals. Wow, he hit the top one, interesting. pound canine braid for those that are going to ask. There he is. And here he comes. Maybe the bite's heating up. I don't know. We're going to find out. There he is. Good fish. Good fish. fish there folks that's awesome check it out fat belly boom doesn't get much better than that coming at you coming at you that guy was aggressive that's the first aggressive fish tonight nice evening on the water for the polar vortex i'm excited about the tournaments coming up folks i tell you what First one's gonna be Darbone and then uh, Grenada, a bunch of, and you'll be coming along for the ride. I'll be sharing those experiences with you. I'm looking forward to it. Here comes another one. 
There he is. Good fish. Good fish. So, right there, I'm gonna let that guy go. Now, all of a sudden, catch a fish. You're not gonna see a lot of the parts that I didn't catch fish, but it took a while. You gotta love an eater fish. They thump just as hard as anything else. 11 incher. Exciting new stuff coming up this year, folks. I can't really divulge exactly what's gonna happen, but pretty cool stuff. I'm looking forward to all the events on both trails. Both trails, man, it's exciting. All the new changes, new owners on both sides. I think that's good for crappie fishing. I think you get some new ideas in there. Woken up. We need to wake it up some of the big dogs. Welcome to the, the new live scope view. That's what we're calling that, the new live scope view. Active captain, we will still do active captain from time to time, but people seem to enjoy this view. We will still show the old uh, active captain from time to time when we want those really crisp looking pictures. There he is, drop it in. Catch up to it, I keep that weight pretty much above the pile. See, I'm watching the weight. Watching the weight and feeling. Here comes one from the bottom and there it is. Thanks for watching Three Pound Fishing. Partnered up with these fantastic companies.